Save 15% off everything at awesomedrinks.com. Coupon code CMC415. Why don't you call the Mad Cocktails? I'm your host, Eric Schober, and I go with me, the Curd. And we're going to make the modern brown derby. The modern brown derby. Well, we're going to make two. The original. Modern? Is it modern and anti-modern? Well, no. It would be the original brown derby. And the classic. And the modern brown derby. The now, modern. the way that this yeah, works exactly. is, is that I tasted the brown derby at a liquor conference not too long ago. And I fell in love with it. But when I started looking up the, re the original recipe, it's not the same at all. So there's two. Yeah, so there's there's a brown derby from the 19, uh, 1939 Esquire magazine, which is your brown derby. Oh, and my brown derby is the one that I've been seeing, like Dale DeGroff's book has it this way, and like a couple other places. Um, Wondrich does it your way. So I think that we should build both, see which one we like better, and just call it, you know, the definitive brown derby. Let's build it. Bilbo! Bilbo! I, I need one of these strainer, conical strainers too, because you, you, you're going to need a bigger one. Okay. Do you so, want to uh, call out first what the original was made out of? I will call out first, and they're all the same ratios. They're just yeah. different products, because their sweets and the sours are the same. So, two ounces of, for me, two ounces of rum. I'm going to use a Rubson's, um, Rubson's Aged Grand Reserve. Um, so like an older, more fancy rum. To kind of pair off the fact that you're using a, an aged uh, whiskey. Yeah. Then a half ounce of fresh lime juice. My limes are super ripe, uh, so they're almost yellow. So I love getting the juice out of a nice, super ripe yellow. Um, and just f fair warning. No! If you go to a grocery store and you see yellow limes like that, don't, well, use them. Use Those them are the ones you want. You don't want super green and hard. No, they you want yellow. They don't work for good. These, no. you could sometimes get an entire ounce out of one. I know. A half. That's awesome. Um, and, or if you're going to make a shrub, you also want to have older ones. So, and then a half ounce of maple syrup, which is right here. This little guy here, we're going to use a medium amber grade A. New England maple syrup. If you're not in New England, you should move there. Yeah. Um, you're on the Beautiful this time of year. <laughs> you on the other hand, actually. I just got back from Austin, Texas, which, by the way, as I've, I've learned, is more like Silicon Valley of Texas. I know, People it's say it's not Texas, it's Austin. Did you do barbecue while you were in Austin? I ate barbecue brisket at a gas station. Wait, hold on, you <laughs> digress. Awesome. Finish the ingredients All right. first. All right. All right, yeah, because she needs to do this part. Oh, yeah. So, in her case, she's going to be using a rum. <laughs> she, he is going to be using a rum, and I pointed at her that time. She. <laughs> a rum, a bourbon. So, he's got two ounces of bourbon. I'm hoping to get two ounces out of this. If not, I yeah, guess we'll work on it. Yeah, An ounce of fresh grapefruit juice, and a half ounce of honey syrup, which is right there. Yep. And that is his version. Completely different ingredients, same ratio, same sweets to sours, but completely different. Completely different. I personally think, while I like rum, I think I'm gonna. Li while I like bourbon, I don't like well, do, on that rum. I do think we need like to tell everybody why we're doing whiskey sours this week? Uh, because they're tasty. Well, <laughs> it happens to be your favorite. Uh, I, I like a whiskey sour. Anytime somebody ever ever says anything, what should I? What's my first drink? I just turned 21. I just say whiskey sour. And guess what? It's, Today's your birthday. Today's your birthday. Well, it's Tuesday. Would that be my That's birthday? That's your birthday. Yeah. Oh, really? It's so Tuesday, this whole yes. week is dedicated to Derek, and it's all whiskey sour cocktails oh. because of his birthday. And now, I know a lot of people wanted 80s cocktails, we'll do that but later. we had to do something special because Derek only has a birthday so once a year. I think so this next is considered week, a whiskey sour? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is wrong. Two weeks from now, because next week is a, is a conglomeration. Next week's episodes, because I'm going to be in no, Mexico. we'll be here. What? Next week is... We leave on Saturday. Okay, but you these recipes are oh. going to be the week after. Oh, we we can we can film next week. Yes. But I thought we weren't going to be able to. We're going to be here on Friday. If you want to film on Friday, you can film on Friday. Oh, really? How do we edit them and get them out you by that week? You can film the following week. I don't know what's going on. So next week we could film, but maybe the next week we'll do the following week. Next week we'll just we have to have them all edited and ready to go. So those right. will be the conglomeration of videos. Anyway. So the ones you're going to see in your next week time 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 zone um, is. Is a conglomeration. There'll be one probably of Doug from when he was here. I have one of those left. Probably a couple reviews from Curd and Ian. Um, a review from me and Curd probably. A couple recipes from Ian, Curd, and me. It'll be just a mix up of recipes. Yeah. Um, a smorgasbord. A smorgasbord. And then the week after, I think we should do. And there's two Pete recipes. Oh, yeah, there's just two Pete recipes. That's true. Um, um, the week after, I think we should do cocktails from different countries. So you don't want the. And then after that, we do the. Oh, okay. I think. 
Maybe not. We can do the voiceover. So you, I mean, if really, you, you can get. A this is one of the really perks. Can. I mean, there's perks to this show. What's the perks? I don't. I don't if know. you're I watching the live stream right now alcohol? and you're in the chat room, this in is there? where you tell us what you want for the can next. I have some theme. ice in there. If you are. Oh, I don't need anything to make. During the week, if you are, you know, leaving comments for us watching the show, but Leave mostly comments. mostly leaving comments. I'm gonna be much more inclined to like be like, I know that person. I should probably use their cocktail. That's true. So it's bribery, really. Yeah, I mean, I want to talk to you, and you want to talk to me, right? Right? I don't know if they want to talk to me. <laughs> Look at that. It's like inside out. It was so soft and tasty, but it didn't make an entire ounce. It's close though. I'm so far behind because I was too busy trying to figure out what the hell we were talking about. Um, boom, that's an ounce. Yeah, that's good. And then a half ounce ah, of my maple. Uh, uh. So you just poured your, you left your Hawthorne, right? Or your, your strainer, Chronicle. Right? Yeah, that's how we do it. Is that how you do it? Yep. That's how he rolls. I roll. Is that how you roll? This is how we roll. Got <laughs> music reference. That is my turn, my turn. Okay. Ready? So you like the uh, conical that has the little prongs on the edge? Yeah, it's nice. Because this is my other one. Oh, this one's bigger. Yours fit right in there, didn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, he had the small one. Oh, you know what? I don't have, I have your strainer. I don't, uh, I'll get there you yours, go. No, yours is going to be tarnished with, with cranberry. Not cranberry. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. <laughs> He's had a really rough week, guys. It's not been easy. I'm so not mentally capable of doing anything right now. Where's my spot for marking? It's uh, right there. Yeah, right where your glasses are. Look at that. There's a lot of uh, sludge in this. Yeah. You can maybe move it over a bit and then put Curtis's and get them both in there. Yep. All right, well, there's sludge. So be it. Boom. We got two drinks. Found derby. Yeah, fairly similar. Very similar in look. Boom. Oh, I bought one. I mean, it would be kind of weird if it was like red and it was a brown derby. Yeah. No, but I, I, I screwed up. I was supposed to bring down my oranges so we can make twists. So I fucked up. But yeah, it's fine. No one's going to complain about that. If you complain about it, I'm just going to ban you. <laughs> <laughs> ban hammer. Okay, so I'll drink yours first. You want to drink mine first? Well, that's just sexual. Oh, it smells good. Yours could smell better. Interesting. Mm, it's tart. It's tart with maple syrup, huh? Yeah, you don't really get the maple syrup really? on that one. A little, a little meh. Ah, bourbon-y. I like the bourbon-y. Okay. You're right, this smells like a, this smells like a Trinity cocktail. You got that, it's that sugar lime thing going on. Completely different. I know. This one tastes total Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Like I'm on an island drinking this. I'm not on an island drinking that. I'm at a I'm at a speakeasy drinking that. I'm at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> I've never been to Kentucky Derby, but yeah, you could probably be there. Yeah. Uh, this is more balanced than that. This has a little sweet, uh, more sweet. Yeah. Uh, it could be my limes are too rich. Maybe I don't think so. Uh, that rum comes out, but it's, it's not. Maple. It's not yeah. abrasive. No, no, that's true. No, that's um, a pretty smooth rum. It is yeah. a smooth rum, but I think that the if this was a simple syrup, I think that the maple is pretty sweet. But you know what? Until I thought of that, I didn't even think there was maple. I know it's sweet, but there's yeah. a brown, sugary like flavor to it. Didn't even doesn't have a Vermont like some cocktails when you use maple syrup. You're like, oh, this is like something I drink while I'm in the mountains of Vermont. Yeah. I'm not getting that. Uh, that out of this drink. I'm getting definite Caribbean island sitting at a pool, like in the pool at the pool bar. Now, which one, I guess the big question is, which one do you like better, the original or the modern? It's a completely different mood. Mm. Uh, I'm inclined to go towards, no, I can't, I'm coming back. It's tough. <laughs> I because, know. No, like they, they're, they're different mindsets. This is, both these drinks are just as good as each other, 
but in a different mood. This is my like I'm I'm relaxing out vacation. on vacation. Yeah, I'm on yeah. I'm on that's vacation mood. This is I'm appreciating a, a, a classic craft cocktail um, in a, in a closed space. They're both like three ingredient cocktails. I yeah, true. Well, unless you include the orange peel, I didn't put in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's still not really an ingredient. Do you get uh, the grapefruit? No. No. I didn't no. get any grapefruit None. at all. And I'm not. I don't like grapefruit. Um. By itself. Both of them could easily be finished and be. You know what? Now that I think about it, I I say I don't like grapefruit. But at the same time, I also don't just suck uh, eat limes right out of the, uh, the skin. But when yeah. I think of that, because people will eat grapefruit that way, and they'll put it in grapefruit juice and stuff like that. If you put sugar on it, it's awesome. But yeah, yeah, but you've now no longer really grapefruit is now it's for sugar. No, I just dig it out of the grapefruit rind, but just put sugar on it. But you lost all the health benefits of the grapefruit. I don't care about health benefits. <laughs> 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 it was never my worry. No. I'll tell you one thing. Mine has much better aroma. I think the the orange garnish would work better in yours because it would. If you took an orange garnish and you you zapped it with a little bit of the orange oils and rubbed it around the sides or whatever, yeah. I think you'd get um, you'd get that aroma or or uh, bitters like yeah. a little bit of uh, like a dash of a uh, hella bitter like with a clove to come out or something like that. But it, it was just for aroma, like it, it doesn't need it. <laughs> no. Um, but this smells. What's better. the drink called again? Brown Derby. Brown Derby. Yep. So this is the original. Yep. I would have thought Derby was bourbon in general. No, it was a reference to, uh, I believe, the Los Angeles restaurant. Oh. I could be wrong. Maybe it's not. Lo not, not don't quote Los me on that. Angeles? But I think that it's Los Angeles. So it doesn't have anything to do with an actual Derby. No, it has to do with the restaurant, the Brown Derby. Oh. Fine then. Oh, at least that's what I, I kind of, I was doing the history on it. It's a little shaky because the Esquire one doesn't reference the restaurant; it just references the drink. So yeah, you get that a lot. You, you yeah. have to like be an archivist or whatever you'd be to try to figure out where some of this. Hence from. the reason that's what I do. So yeah, you need. Well, you yeah. didn't. You didn't. You didn't finish it. You can't tell me for a for a. What, what no, that? well, I could always I could always text message Wondrich and ask him. Or <laughs> oh, that's cheating! Nope. Going right to where you know you can get the answers. <laughs> you need to go around this. Wondrich always knows. Be like, Wondrich, where did they come from? And he'd be like, Oh, well, this person sat on the you know toilet and brought it up, and he knows the really intimate stuff that you're like, how do you know that? Why isn't he Why isn't he watching our show? Uh, you get a text message and just say, just send him the link. <laughs> like what? What is this? This who's this guy? Yeah. Uh, so. Really, it, it's your mood. This is like, I had a rough day at work, and I want to appreciate something. This is, I haven't worked in three days, and I don't plan to work for three more, yeah. and I'm already kind of drunk, and I'm yeah. sitting in a pool. Um, but you could re reorder both of those, right? I would reorder, I would round robin between the two of them. Yeah. Like, I'd order this, then this, then this, and this. No, I'd order any of them. They, they look exactly the same, taste nothing alike. Perfect. And not only that, they both taste good standalone on their own. You don't. You have to pick one. You have to pick both. No. Um, it, it, I, obviously, we go against. I mean, it's not that expensive, but we we did kind of go against our our. You know, the last week we had thirty dollar episode. You know, everything was under thirty dollars, and everybody's like, "That's so easy. Why is it, why would I just use cherry coke for this instead of all this crazy stuff?" You're losing the point. Yeah. Making a cocktail cheap means sometimes sacrificing complexity. This neither of these are complex. Both of them are probably, I don't remember what the Rumsons cost, but that might break your $30 range, right? Yeah. Uh, but you, you have a whole bottle. You could love it. You could take it to bed with you. Uh, do whatever. <laughs> Make love to it. Right. So that's it. I guess we're done. Yep. Uh, question of the day. We haven't asked one of those for a couple of days because I don't remember. Favorite don't wrestler? Have, you don't usually. Oh, you do in review sometimes. Huh. Yeah. Favorite WWF wrestler? Or mm -hmm. no, ECW, WWE. WCW. Favorite pro wrestler. Yeah. Right? Because it could be anything. Yep. And, I, and you could even include Bobby's Brain Heaton and. Um, and uh, Miles South Jimmy Hart, like, because they're still cool personalities. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if you didn't watch wrestling, Mine was Brutus. why not? Brutus of our beefcake? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I Brutus, like the I, Rockers. I found him to have a flat character path. Like, who? The Rockers. Oh, the Rockers oh, the were Rockers. good. The Rockers, yeah. The, who Brutus else did I never like? had, Brutus never had a real thing. Uh, what was the name of the two brothers? The um, Hacksaw Bush Jim Duggan. Yeah, no, the Hacksaw Jim Duggan and his brother. He didn't have a brother. He had a brother. There was like two guys that had two by fours and they hit people with two by fours. There's only one guy. That no. I have watched the history of. of Maybe it was Hacksaw Jim Duggan was. There's Hacksaw. You could count for, uh, uh, Jim. What's his name? Farmer Hillbilly Jim. But he never yeah. had a. He never had a. Thing. I thought they tag teamed up for something. No, Hillbilly Jim's freaking huge. Yeah. 
Uh, and then there was uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah. I the problem I have with Jake the Snake Roberts, while I like him as kind of for what he had for, yeah, I always wanted to see what he taught people with a snake. Mm -hmm. I always I always picture these like YouTube videos of him now, where yeah. he's like a drunk on the corner someplace, and I always feel bad when I think of Jake the Snake Roberts. <laughs> if they're dead, then you're like. You know, oh, you were abusing you drugs, you died. Yeah, yeah you, you, you're, yeah, you've died a, a, a martyr and a, and a hero. You can't die a hero in a gutter with a bottle in your hand. Oh uh, yeah. So, you, what was the name of the girl that was like his girlfriend? But, Sable. I oh, know. No. no. Oh, uh, it was, like Scary Ken Sherry. Yeah, no. Scary. No, it wasn't Scary uh, Sherry. Who else was? What's your favorite female manager? There's a lot. Of oh, that's Miss good. Elizabeth. Everybody's got Miss Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah. There's um, Marlena. 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 Yeah, Marlena. She's not dead. She right. did Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. That's Dusty, Dusty Rose's um, wife. Gold, gold, gold dust. dust. Gold that's, dust. That's that's Terry Sorry, Runnels. Came down with the no, Marlene. Cigar. Never mind. I think of Terry Runnels. That's that's. No. Her. This could go on forever. But let's do it then. Now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so answer that question. If you don't like wrestling, because you're probably cooler than us, <laughs> and you actually were doing something with your life, then I guess the question would be, what's your favorite sour fruit? The heart fruit counts too. Yeah. And you can count those crazy passion fruit that you think are going to be sweet and turn out to be really sour. That's it. We're done. We're teaching you how to drink. I like it. That's mm -hmm. a good drink. Yep. In my mind. We've had two good drinks so far. Mm -hmm. Of course, one was good. No, so that's, we have to. This makes so Tangeray. This makes Tangeray. My ego just gets so inflated when I come here. I'm like, I can never go wrong. No, that makes Tangeray.